do we like Winchester Troper so much? It's because I think it's one of the best kept secrets of medieval polyphony. Here we are at the turn of the millennium with a beautiful manuscript from the south of England, Winchester, called the Winchester Troper, with a large collection of polyphonic pieces. There are possibilities to interpret it in different ways, but there is a beautiful musical repertoire which sometimes sounds almost like contemporary music. What we think of consonant and dissonant is very disturbed in this manuscript. St. Sweden is one of those very emblematic Anglo-Saxon medieval saints. Many miracles happen at his grave. Uh, his cult is really very important. And there is another man who is very important at that time in Winchester. It's Wolfstan. He is the cantor of the cathedral in Winchester. And he is as well a wonderful poet in Latin. Really one of the most refined poets of his time. He wrote a very long poem in Latin. It's the life of Saint Sweden written in beautiful poetry. I took the elements of this story. Since the story has no music, this is where I tried to create a musical language that would correspond to the music from the Winchester Troper, in which there are some pieces about St. Sweden. The story of Three Furies is a story of a man who encounters three very strange beings. He's so impressed and so shocked that he loses the use of his legs and arms. So limping, he manages to arrive to the door of Winchester and he has a vision, or maybe a dream, of a man dressed in white who tells him to go to the old minster. This man appears to him again and at this moment he reveals his identity. He says, I am Saint Sweden. There is a story about encounter of this man with something that makes him immobile. And that made me think about many things in our lives which block us, which make us incapable of moving, going forward. In this moment of vision and, and initiation and inner transformation, he becomes free and he can move again. 